Indian aviation industry is going to be the third largest aviation market by 2025. But the question is, is BSC Aviation really worth it? Let's understand. Welcome to Monday Aviation Code Series, where we promise you to simplify aviation codes in simple words. This course duration is three years of time, with the six semesters to be covered. In recent times, due to the new education policy, some of the colleges offer the same course for four years of time. The eligibility required to apply for this course is 10th plus 2 with Physics, Chemistry and Mathematics. And you should also be prepared for the entrance exams in some of the colleges. So you have to clear it to get into that particular college. Through your syllabus, they are going to touch multiple number of topics. Number 1. Aviation Science Through this, they are going to teach you the aircraft basics, aerodynamics and the aircraft systems. Number 2. Air Traffic Control if an aeroplane has been flying in the sky or if it's been landing safely, the main reason behind is ATC. So they're gonna teach you the ATC's functional fundamentals. Number 3. Aviation Management As the aviation industry is 24 into 7 working industry, the operations, logistics and the business aspect of aviation matters a lot. Through this aviation management subject, they're gonna build an entrepreneur nor a leadership quality in you. So these were the list of core concepts. Through your syllabus, they are going to deep dive into more number of concepts like metrology, navigation, flight planning and safety and security of aviation. If this is clear, let's understand what are the practical training that's been offered. As an aviation student, you'll be gaining a hands-on experience through simulators. With the aviation industry experts, the workshops will be conducted. And also, through your internships, you'll get an industrial exposure through the industrial visits. As a student, now let's understand what are the career opportunities that you're going to get after completing this course. Number 1. Commercial Pilot To become a commercial pilot, you doesn't require any sort of degree. But as you hold an science background, it's quite easier to apply for the commercial pilot license. Number 2. Air Traffic Controller The tall towers that you find in the airport are nothing but the ATC towers. The air traffic controller monitor all the aircraft in the sky and on the ground. With this, they hold much more responsibilities. So, once you complete this course, you can apply for ATC2. Number 3. Airport Manager This industry is quite a busy industry and keeping it organized is mandatory. Where Aviation Manager oversees the airport operations, airline management and the logistics, through which the industry runs smoothly. As you hold the aviation degree, you can apply for the Assistant Manager role and upgrade yourself with the experience. Number 4. Ground Staff once you enter the airport, the people who interact with you are the ground staff. They handle customer service, ticketing and baggage handling. Number 5. Aviation Safety Officer In this industry, the human safety is valued more than everything, which has been overseen by the Aviation Safety Officer. He implements the safety protocols and also conducts the risk assessments. So once you complete this course, you can apply for any of these jobs. There are n number of other jobs which you need to explore once you get into the industry. If you are looking out for the post-graduation once you complete the BSc in Aviation, then you can apply for MSc in Aviation nor MBA in Aviation Management. There are countable number of colleges in India which has been offering the same courses. So have a prior research before you apply for any of the colleges. See, Indian Aviation industry has been growing rapidly right now. If you're skilled, if you're professional, you can grab n number of opportunities in this industry. But the challenge is your high education cost and the competitive job market. But the question is, is this the right degree for you? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And also, a self-assessment exercise has been designed to help you reflect on your interests, skills and career goals in this industry. So check out the description box to access the link. So this was all from my side. Share it to your friend who want to become a BSc Aviation Expert. Next Monday, let's meet with a BBA in Aviation Management course. Until then, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.